Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. As you can see on screen today we are checking out a beautiful new power armor and that's going to be the Enclave X02 Black Devil Power Armor by Cypher. That's right, Cypher, the creator of one of my favorite weapon mods in Fallout 4, has come back with a brand new power armor and this thing is absolutely incredible. Beautiful models and textures as well as tons of really cool attachments and a mini dungeon which is actually where you acquire this armor in the first place. So let's actually head in game and complete that dungeon. Alright, here we are in game. Now the author says that this armor is located in the Sentinel site somewhere in the tunnels behind a forklift. So that's what we're looking for now. Navigate down below into the tunnel area and we are searching for a forklift and it should be behind there somewhere matter of fact i believe we just found it perfect containment storage corridor now i am doing this blind so everything we see here is going to be a first time experience not only for you but for me as well so this will be fun cool completely new location i always like that using our brand new m60 mod as well we got a fuse box lid does nothing all right there's a couple of doors here. Let's see what we can see. Ooh, nice little compact room here with a bunch of stuff. Some army gear. And a bathroom, nothing too important that I can see. Although there is some ammo box going on here and a first aid kit. Cool. All right, let's keep moving. Let's look for this armor. I guess we didn't finish all of them. My guess is this is going to be headed in the right direction. Lots of ghouls, though. Alright, there's a tank. That door's no use to us. This is a really cool area. It's actually super sweet. Oh, I think that's our armor right there. Alright, inaccessible. This is really detailed in here. And there we have it. That is our Exo 2 power armor, and it looks magnificent. Now, I've got to say, this has to be one of my favorite implementations of a power armor mod that I have seen to date. The way that this armor sits on the frame is absolutely perfect. It is sleek, it is beautiful, the models and textures are so clean. It's also available in 4K if you can handle that. This truly is a work of art. And it doesn't stop there. You can also equip some prototype Exo 2 shoulders as well as a helmet and even a new set of armor, the Exo 2 Tesla Coil Armor. And guess what? These Tesla Coils are completely standalone. You do not need the Automatron DLC to use these, which is incredible. And the modifications don't stop there. There is a whole lot to offer in this mod, so we might as well run through all of it. First of all, as for the stats, this thing has a base resistance of the Exo 1 Mark 6 armor, right out of the gate. However, there are no lining mods. So this thing comes out top of the line, but there's not a whole lot you can do to the base damage resistances besides that. Now, as for the actual attachments, let's go ahead and check the menus here. Now your menus might not look exactly like mine as I'm using AWKCR and that can mess things up sometimes. So if you see some weird stuff going on, it's purely on my end. So let's start with the chest piece and I guess we'll start with the paints. So as you can see, I have some extra paints that don't actually exist in the mod. These are just AWKCR being weird. But as for the actual things in-game, you have the vanilla standalone paint, which is the nice silver. We have the Brotherhood of Steel paint, which is a darker black with some rust. And then we have the Enclave paint, which is a very dark black. We also have the options for miscellaneous mods. These are going to be the same as any power armor in the base game, including a jetpack, which is always nice. We have the options to add ranks, which is pretty interesting. These are all of the Brotherhood of Steel ranks that you can get while moving through the Brotherhood of Steel questline. You have the option to add a decal. You can have the Brotherhood of Steel decal, the Enclave, or the Squad Sigma. Or we can have the upgrade to Tesla Coils. And these are the same for all of the armor pieces. So really, really cool stuff there. Now the helmets are also pretty interesting. As you can see, we have the standard headlamp or the red tactical headlamp. We'll show those off in just a minute. We have the option to change the Exo 2 helmet out for the prototype Exo 2 helmet, which just changes the design a little bit. We have the miscellaneous mods as for all of the regular power armor modifications. 
and then the paints as usual. But when it comes to the paints, we actually have some really interesting changes to the helmet. So the vanilla has the regular standalone visor, but when we switch to Brotherhood of Steel, you see we get a nice orange visor. And when we switch to Enclave, we also have that nice orange visor, which is just a nice little touch. Now, earlier we mentioned just how beefy the stats are for this thing, and it is totally justified. You are finding this in the late game. It's locked away in the Sentinel site, so they better be pretty beefy. But let's get down into the nitty gritty and see just exactly what you get out of this thing. So when we check this thing out in our pit boy, you can see that we have a total damage resistance of 1,880, energy resistance of 1,450, and a radiation resistance of 1,050. I am wearing no armor underneath the power armor, so these are coming straight from the Exo 2. Those are some pretty chonky stats. Throw that on with any late game armor you have underneath, even some ballistic weave, and you are basically unstoppable. As for each piece individually, the helmet is going to give you a 320 damage resistance. Each arm will give you 270. Each leg will also give you 270. And the torso is going to give you a whopping 420. This thing is powerful. You definitely don't want to mess with anybody wearing this. Luckily, the only person wearing it is going to be you. Now, for those headlamp modifications we were talking about, this here is the standard headlamp. So as you can see, when we have it turned on, it makes our eyes glow a nice green, which looks super cool and intimidating. But we also have that option to do the red tactical headlamp, which adds this very bright glowing red visor, which is also super intimidating really just depends on your style. Now my personal favorite combination is using the regular visor with the Enclave paint job, as well as the Smod Frost Plasma Weapons, which actually makes the plasma rifles glow. This gives a super cool effect, especially when you're running around at night. And I think that covers just about everything. This truly is an incredible power armor mod. This thing is of the highest quality and at this point may possibly be one of my favorite power armor mods to date, which is funny given that I just uploaded a video about one of my favorite power armor mods, but this one is definitely a contender. Definitely some amazing work that went into this thing. Now, something important to note before we actually end this thing, as of recording this, this mod is currently only available on PC. However, I really hope that it does get a port to Xbox for all of you Xbox users. Recently, one of Cypher's mods actually did get ported to Xbox, so I'm hoping that the same treatment gets taken for this Enclave Power Armor. It's just too cool to have to miss out on. So, if you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked in the description as always. And I encourage you to go out there and support the mod author. They obviously put a ton of work into this thing, and it shows. So, if you enjoyed the mod, endorse it. Consider donating if that's something you're able to do, but most of all, just show your appreciation for all of their hard work. And... If you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. And if you enjoyed And if you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So, again, thank you.